All right, we're down in our hole. We just had our first home inspection from uh, PBI, Professional Building Inspectors. And he came to check out our frost wall. So we'll just show you um, what we got going on. Frost walls are concrete walls that are placed in the ground deep enough so that in winter, when the ground freezes, the walls and footings they are sitting on won't end up with the ground freezing underneath them. Since our entire foundation is being built out of insulated concrete forms, our frost wall is an insulated concrete wall that goes down three feet under our basement wall. It's only needed on the back wall of our house where the walkout section is and is also wrapped around the corners of this back wall where there is no dirt backfilled against the foundation. Moisture in the ground expands when it freezes and this can cause the ground to move up and push on your basement floor. A frost wall's main purpose is to stop the frost from getting under your floor and heaving it up when it freezes. So Aaron and the guys um, worked on building this frost wall. That was our next step.
day one of ICF. We are building the frost wall at the back of the house. So this is it here. Started off with the footing here that the Zariski boys built for us on piles. It's flat as a pool table, the boys did a great job. And that comes back here to our frost wall. Since it's a walkout basement, this prevents the frost from getting up underneath the house. This will be basically ground level back here. So an insulated wall keeps the frozen ground from getting under your house and heaving your floor. So there's these other blocks here, they're called taper top, and this is going to infill with concrete all the way up to here versus these guys which are thick like that and what that does it gives a ledge for your basement floor to sit on just like the footing does over there so you don't want that concrete bearing on foam that won't support it so this will you see this rebar poking up here it's just an extra long piece tied to the pile which goes underground there and we're in this great clay we're, this house is never going to move like you can't ask for better ground to build in it packs like concrete and doesn't hold moisture just keep working our way around here same more frost wall more frost wall and these wherever you see the plywood like this this is the common seams so wherever you start from each corner and you work your way in to a common point where your nubs aren't going to intersect with one another because they just you know unless it works out perfectly this wall here we just got lucky we didn't need to have a common seam just the the blocks all worked out that you can have one of these ties that connect the seam together here everywhere it just just the dimension worked out and we didn't need to have the plywood but every other wall you're gonna see has plywood strapping and that is there to support the concrete pressure other little tidbits in here there's all these stirrups every two feet there is a chunk of rebar here 10 m rebar tying 15 m rebar from top to bottom in the middle there's five five lengths of rebar spanning this wall two at the top two at the bottom one in the middle so this should be plenty strong to withstand the ground that isn't going to move Suppliers also supplied us with these uh, these adjustable braces, which are super awesome. If you look up the row here, let's see if I get a shot. But that string we've got dead on, and it's those braces that just let you adjust really, really finely. It makes it simple. 
What else is there to say? Another common theme. Uh, all along the bottom here, you use this low expansion spray foam, and it, I guess you can't see the nubs here. There's a good spot, it's on the corner right here. So there's these nubs on the top and bottom that inter interlock normally. And that is on the bottom of these, these forms here. Oh, oh, I'm losing my balance. That's on the bottom of the forms here. And you use this spray foam to basically glue the form to the footing. And that'll stop it from floating up when we pour tomorrow. That's, I think that's about all there is to say about this. We'll, uh, this one was kind of a learning process for us. So we'll, uh, we'll get into more detail when we start building the rest of the house. It's gonna be ICF all the way to the roof. So we just finished our first pour. We had no blowouts. A few spots we uh, let it run over a little bit much, but all in all, looking fantastic. It's still straight, level. Everything's looking awesome. Hey, Mom, I'm here. I hope you enjoyed watching us build our frost wall. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.